Hi, my name is Dong Lee. This is short introduction to the acceleration of MR parameter mapping using annihilating filter-based low-rank Hankel matrix. I'm going to talk about how to accelerate and background of the reconstruction algorithm. MR parameter mapping is finding the quantitative values of each tissue such as T1, T2, etc. It is clinically valuable as a quantitative diagnosis tool, but it takes long scan time due to the needs of multiple scans with the variation of inversion time, echo time, flip angle, etc. The blue one is conventional T2 scan. It takes more than 12 minutes for full acquisition. If we accelerate the scan by undersampling, the scan time is reduced to one minute order. However, the reconstructed images have this kind of strong aliasing artifact. So, using Aloha, we want to reconstruct the clear artifact free images. My goal is acceleration of MR parameter mapping by undersampling and reconstruction by Aloha. I'll briefly explain the background and detail principles of ALOA first. Let's start with annihilating filter. Assume that there is a periodic stream of k dirocs fx. Then there exists corresponding annihilating function hx, which is periodic and makes f times h goes to zero. In Fourier domain, there is a discrete convolution relationship between Fn and Hn. Here Hn is called annihilating filter. The this finite length of convolution operation can be represented as matrix form. Since Fn has infinite lengths, we use the cropped convolution matrix called Hankel matrix. The multiplication of Hankel matrix and annihilating filter should be zero. Therefore, the Hankel matrix should be rank deficient. The most interesting part is we found that the rank of Hankel matrix in transform domain is equal to the sparsity of original domain. So, the reconstruction problem can be formulated as a minimization problem for the rank of Hankel matrix. Thus, the missing element of k-space can be found by row rank Hankel structure matrix completion. Not only for the stream of Dirac case, this can be applied to any other typical images such as non uniform spline or piecewise smooth polynomial. If we apply a proper weighting on k-space, the image becomes sparse and the corresponding Hankel matrix of the weighted k-space data become low ranked. There are several algorithms which utilize low rankness of k-space. Sake and Rorex are those examples. Aloha has many differences compared to them. First, Aloha utilizes the weighting in k-space, which is originated from sparsify transform. As I mentioned, more sparse signal makes more low rank Hankel matrix. We know that kind of relationship between sparsity and low rankness, and Aloha improved the reconstruction performance enormously using this kind of weighting in k-space. Second, the combined compressed sensing and pair-imaging can be addressed by Aloha Berry easily. Just stacking the Hankel matrix of each coil side by side, we could optimally combine the compressed sensing with multi-coil MR imaging. I will explain more how to implement this concept in the next section. To apply Aloha to MR parameter mapping, we utilize two kinds of sparse properties. First, sparsity of spatial domain Y, 
enforced by case-based weighting. Second, the sparsity of Fourier domain along the parametric dimension, F. Each scan of images has different contrast, but they share the detailed structures. Thus, the Fourier transform of parametric domain is sparse. So we can construct 2D Henkel matrix on KY T domain. I'll explain the details of algorithm. First, the inputs are weighted along phase encoding direction. For the first blue column, the filter slides along the row-wise direction and copies its value for first block of Henkel matrix. And this process repeats for second column and goes on. We can construct 2D Henkel matrix. This is the complete Henkel matrix for single coil case. It is very easy to extend the single coil case to multi coil case, just stacking the Henkel matrix of each coil side by side. Then we can fill the missing case space by using the row rank matrix completion, an inverse Henkel matrix transformation, and unweighting process. We could find the reconstructed case space. To improve the reconstruction performance, we decompose the case space as fine scale to coarse scale, and we do the reconstruction step by step for each scale. Since case space has different SNR profile on raw frequency and high frequency, multi-scale reconstruction helps the faster and better convergence of optimization. Here are the experiment result. Acceleration were performed on T1 and T2 mapping. We did simulation study, which means reconstruction from retrospective downsample data. Also, we did in vivo accelerated study, which means the reconstruction from undersample data acquired by rear accelerated pulse sequences. To evaluate the performance of ALOA, we compare the result of following compensating algorithms. These are the reconstruction images from 8 times retrospectively downsampled data of T1 mapping. As you can see, ALOA has best performance for reconstruction among them. As I mentioned before, the difference of performance between ROREX and ALOA came from the weighting and the multi-scale reconstruction. These are the T1 maps from the reconstructed images, and ALOA shows more than 50% accurate compared to other compressing algorithms. Here are the reconstruction results from 12.8 times retrospectively downsampled T2 mapping data. Here also ALOA outperforms the others. These are the T2 mapping results, and as you can see, ALOA shows minimum errors compared to the other compressing algorithms. For the in vivo accelerated study, we redesigned these two per sequences for random sampling. This is the reconstruction result from in vivo accelerated data. Unfortunately, here is head movement between the full and the accelerated scan. However, you can see the aliasing free image in ALOA result compared to other compressing algorithm has aliasing. This is the T1 mapping result. I will go through the T1 results we just mentioning ALOA as minimum matter. For the accelerated T2 scan, ALOA shows great performance as the minimum matter shows. And same result shows in the T2 map reconstruction result. To evaluate the result more quantitatively, we select small region of interest on white matter and we compare the relaxation curve for each reconstruction. Black dashed line is original full sample data and the red line 
is a curve of aloha which follows exactly the black line. 42 curve. Although there were small signal drops for all of reconstruction curves, among them, aloha shows the best reconstruction result. In conclusion, aloha is already applied to various applications successfully, such as imaging painting, cell imaging, EPI ghost correction, MR artifact removal, etc. In this study, using aloha, we improved the acceleration and reconstruction performance for MR parameter mapping. As you can see, the acquisition time of T1 mapping is enormously reduced from 41 minutes to 5 minutes, and the T2 mapping is accelerated from 13 minutes to 1.6 minutes. And we confirmed the reconstruction performance from real in vivo accelerated data with redesigning the first sequences. These are the references related to the ALOA. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your listening.